So we are reading uh, page 14 um, and start with the translation of the second verse. He looks down the road for you to come, saying, Rai, Rai, with faltering voice and agitated heart, and he thinks one moment without you lasts a million ages. Although Sundara looks in all four directions, he cannot find his Priyaji. So he gets up from the play bed and comes out of the cave to have a good search for her. Ananda does Babaji is wrote here what he looks in all direction. And also he started this paragraph. He looks on the way from where you must come. And now he is uh, again wrote what he is in pain. It's different episodes, yeah? because in one moment he is looking in all directions, first he is looking on the uh, road, and then in all directions. In this moment he is not in cave, because in cave it's impossible to look in all directions. means it's different episodes, yes? I am it's correct? Still, I'm not so much. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Just. I think this all directions just a direction. Ah. That's why in Tunja he walked so rather uh -huh. all directions in Tunja no one is here. <laughs> maybe then he went out. Maybe. But it's written after. It's written after, but he is in cave. Ah. Not in Tunja. He's in cave. Maybe from beginning, maybe we can read mm. second verse. Mm. Yes. Then we can imagine yeah. which, yeah, which, yeah. which we are talking. And also, yeah. Gurudev can also yeah. more detail. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Start again, verse 2. Mm. Oh, Stala. Mm. Kamalini, land lotus, it is fitting that you are proud in this forest. You create excellent laughter through the pretext of this flower bunch. Even though all flower vines are anointed with fragrance. The black bee, Krishna, leaves them now to search for your pathway only. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi were peeking inside a cave of Govardhan Hill to enjoy a glimpse of Radha and Krishna's sweet love play, at the climax of which Krishna fainted of love excitement. The transcendental youthful Cupid of Vrindavana 
is beside himself of ecstasy because of the wonderful ingredients of Sri Radha's Madana Mahabha. Sri Radhika becomes very proud of her victory, accepting the mood of Madhyata. Krishna is mine, in which the heroine controls the hero. In the Tadiyata mood, I am his, the hero controls the heroine. She proudly goes out of the kunja into a neighboring kunja where she makes her girlfriends relish the parihasa rasa transcendental flavor of laughter and humor laughing her Vala Hasya, exquisite love, and saying, The beautiful one is mine. Meanwhile, Krishna arises from his ecstatic swoon and not seeing his Priyaji anywhere, anxiously starts looking around for her. Through a window in the cave, Rupa Manjari and Tulasi relish the sweet sight of Sundara's beautiful Krishna's wonderful emotions when he cannot see their Swamini. <coughs> For the maidservants, Krishna is most beautiful when he is anxious to meet Sri Radha. With the brushes of their love, they make a picture of this eagerness on the canvases of their hearts and carry it to Sri Radha to show it to her when she is separated from Shama Sundara. In this way, they render wonderful Rasanga service to Srimati. How blessed they are that they can say, O oh Radhe, out of separation from you, Shama is also very upset. For your sake, he has given up his beautiful home and lives in a forest abode. He rolls around on the bed of the earth and loudly laments, crying out your name. He looks down the road for you to come, saying, Rai, Rai, with faltering voice and agitated heart. And he thinks one moment without you lasts a million ages. Although Sundara looks in all four directions, he cannot find his Priyaji. So he gets up from the playbed and comes out of the cave 
to have a good search for her. Then the wind of Vrindavana carries the full weight of Sri Radhika's fragrance into his nostrils and tells him, Oh, go black bee, don't be upset. The land lotus is not far away anymore. The wind has made his name Gandavaha, carrier of fragrances, effective. Madhusudan's nose can specifically testify of that. <coughs> We read uh, in commentaries on Amdas Babaji Maharaj when everything what is touched Mahabhava becomes Mahabhava. Yeah? And this wind touched transcendental Ambrosio Gwadi Ushidi Mataradika and now he is her duty, means messenger. Because Shri Mataradika always cared about Krishna and he sent it, she, sorry, she sent it as messenger to Krishna, because now he's in excited and she can feel it. She is, how, how, how does Ananda Babaji Maharaj wrote here? Every moment for him uh, continues at like pages. And she knows his heart and she sent it messenger. Could you, could you say it sorry, I cannot talk. Um, from the beginning, yeah? Uh, just a point, sorry. Uh, because she feels his anxiety. Ananda, the, Ananda Baba, he's written here. What for him now, every moment continues as ages. Because it means very, it's very difficult to tolerate separation. And Shimati Radhika feeling, can feel it. And she, even she is in Pariha, uh, she is smiling, joking with her girlfriends. But even in this moment, she is not forgetting about him in her heart. And she is sending the messenger with wind. And <coughs> nothing is there, everything is alive. And wind also. Everything is extension of her. Everything opened up extension of her. And now she is sending this messenger. It's not just occasional wind. It's her messenger. <laughs> which brings to him hope. Oh, she is very close. Because hope gives life. Very beautiful. And from beginning, in Kunja, sacred to Bhagwas, Radha Mohan was meet together and uh, pray together in Amara's pastime. So meeting was there. Then due to Srimati Radhika's Mahababa, especially Madanake Mahababa, so Krishna could not tolerate. <laughs> Krishna fainted. So after that, Radhika was tricky. She went to another kunja. Then Krishna, after some time, get up, <coughs> looking for Radhika. Then couldn't find out. Then Krishna feels so much fear, separation and pain. Anandas Babaji Maharaj say, Prema has two bodies, separation and meeting. 
Separation is so much pain because could not meet. At the inside, so much eagerness is coming. Then Krishna becomes a little crazy. And then he get out looking for Radhika. So this Radhika is in interesting, this, this mention, Land Lotus. <coughs> Usually, generally speaking, Lotus come from, from, from mud and water. But here mentioned Land Lotus. <laughs> So, land lotus <coughs> want to meet <coughs> Krishna <coughs> and then want to dive in the nectar of ocean. <coughs> so then, Radha Chalanji say, anything touch, because Radhika's body, everything made for made of Mahababa. Even Radhika's ornament also made by Mahababa. Or even her clothes also. Her flavor also. So fortunately, wind become messenger. And uh, we know the radicals feeling hard. And we, we want to help the pastime. Then carry that fragrance to the nostril of Krishna. I think Radha Sasdaniti, second or third verse, Krishna is pay obeisance whenever this fragrance of Radhika's cross is coming. So he just pay obeisance. So Krishna was so much despair in distress because out of separation. So Radha Charan Baba mentioned fragrance come means not so far. Then Krishna is so eager, Krishna has hope. So I think this is a very uh, beautiful thing and Radha Charan Baba explained very nicely. <coughs> when Nagara eagerly runs after that fragrance, eager to meet his Priyaji, he meets Padma and Saibya, the girlfriends of Radhika's arch rival Chandravani on the way. They try to lure him away, but he ignores them and continues his search for Sri Radhika, casting his glances in the direction where he smells her delectable scent. This is me, the messenger, uh, fulfilled desire of Shimati Radhika, perfectly. Means message was uh, delivered in perfect way. Now Krishna is going, not no end of the say. Not going other direction. Up directly. Very, very fixed. Yeah, very really fixed. Because we can see. 
obstacle coming to his way to messengers of Chandravali. But even they used all their art how to charm him. They could not, they failed. Now he is completely radical Mohan. Completely. It's not ours. He belongs completely to Shimata Radika. Like for example, say if someone loses money, like if someone loses money million dollars, then become mad after money. If someone loves wife and wife die and then husband become mad after wife. <laughs> so similarly, so Krishna was did so much intimate pastime with Radhika. Then Radhika disappeared. So he become mad. Then fragrance of Radhika touched the nostril. Then Krishna has so intense desire, greed is coming, very strong greed, hunger. So generally speaking, if Chandra Bali's friend, Adama Shaiba come, then Krishna, Krishna take care of them, their feeling. So how are you? How is your mistress? Are you all right? <laughs> and then Padma Shaiva said, Ma, our mistress is waiting for you, please come. Sometimes Krishna goes to the Kunja Chandra Bhaji. But in this case, because after meeting and separation, then Krishna's Mohan's eagerness so increased, like Govardhan. So he could not tolerate. So therefore, in this case, some obstacle came, but ignore. No, today, no, I want to meet my Swami. So this usually Krishna's mind is very chanchara. Krishna go one lady to another lady sometimes. But this time, wind has a good job. <laughs> and also Manjari is looking after Moha because Manjari want to see and Manjari want to check Moha's feeling how, e how eager for Radhika you know how Moha is looking for Radhika how intense feeling so that feeling you know and Rupa, that Rupa Torasi want to check it and then Mohan Ignova and Padma Shaiba and then so intense love for Radhika. Then they are so proud. Oh my Swami is really Jayashri. My Swami conquer Mohan. This is the kind of situation. And um because in this case, in this case, the wine doing uh, service of messenger duty, that's what Manjari is doing. Manjari eager to receive from Shemati Radhika as a gift her dress, her ornamentation. Oh, why? Because in this way they can um, charm Krishna because he will recognize, wow, I know this dress and this aroma which is coming from this dress and this shine which is coming from ornamentation. I know this. And this Uncle Bell's song, it all charming him in his writing. Damadara Rati Vardana Vesh. It's increasing. increasing. And, and then this eagerness become very high, then untolerable, and nobody can stop him. This means the service done perfectly. Make him mad or desire to match him at wow.
they try to lure him away, but he ignores them and continues his search for Sri Radhika, casting his glances in the direction where he smells her delectable scent. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi secretly follow Nagara and become very proud of their Swamini's prestige when they see how eager he is to meet her. Suddenly, Nagara notices that Rupa and Dulasi are following him and he become and he comes to them and asks them with folded hands. O oh Rupa, O oh Dulasi, your mistress tricked me and is hiding out somewhere, leaving me behind. Although I can smell her fragrance, I cannot see her. You must certainly know where my beloved is. Quickly take me to her. That is the speciality of the maidservants of Sri Radhika. That supreme person who is sought for by the Vedas is now folding his hands before Radhika's kinkaris and humbly prays to them, Come, arrange for my meeting with your Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. Blessed is the position of Radha's kinkaris. So this is uh, this is amazing position of kinkari manjari. <coughs> because in this world, generally speaking, Krishna supreme Lord, everybody come to Krishna and pray. Hey Krishna, give me money, give me success, give me wife, husband, children, nice job, nice house, nice car, etc. Nice place. Yes. So this is kind of Amazon. <laughs> you then say. So I'm praying, therefore you give me something. Good for me. So we don't understand sometimes that who can fulfill the desire of Krishna. Of course, Radhika name is Radhika is supreme worship. Radhika could fulfill all the desire of Mohan Krishna. But the problem is if Mohan could not see Radhika. Then, who can arrange that meeting? That is Manjari Kinkari could arrange for meeting of Radhika and Mohan. So therefore, in this situation, Mohan become beggar. Please give me your mercy. I lost the way to find out my Swami. Only you can help. Other, other cannot help. Krishna's friend 
cannot help. Krishna's Saki cannot help. Because Saki, Radhika or Manjari does not want any Saki to come very intimate Nikunja. So Krishna has to go to the Kinkari Manjari. So in this situation, Krishna is begging the mercy from Kinkari. This Rupa and Tulas. Sometimes uh, even he bowed down, not just holding the hand, bowed down to the lay about the sea. Srinarendra Swami Maharaj explained what does mean Prabhupada. This is the title of pure devotee. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada generally means who at the lotus feet of Oh, Prabhu mm -hmm. means Lord. Mm -hmm. But Srinavita Sai Maharaj explained this title like uh, his feet, his pada. For, for whom is Krishna, who oh, Prabhu for all, giving obeisances? Oh. Krishna at lotus feet of his lotus feet. What is, what, what is why he is titled Prabhu Pada? <laughs> wow, interesting. So it means if Narayan Maharaj interpretation is there, then Prabhupada means the maid servant of Dalika. Real Prabhupada is real maid servant of Dalika. So I want to say one pastime. Why this pastime is very interesting? Why Mahaprabhu want to taste Manjari Baba? Actually, why Krishna want to take taste Manjari Baba? So every, everybody knows Krishna play fruit Banshivata. And then all younger go gopi learn after this sound, good sound. And midnight, very late night. So after gopi gather a Krishna pray. Lasa Lira, Lasa Dance. So, many gopi pray with Krishna, or, or dance with Krishna. But Senta is Radhika and Mohan. So, Radhika's, Radhika's jingling bell, bell and Krishna's fruit sound. Very, very nicely, uh, what I say, match and cooperate. Mm -hmm. One day, Radhika's uncle bell was fallen on from, from her feet. Uh, some uncle bell, one uncle bell fell on the, on the fell off from her feet. <laughs> so, some other, any more, a fruit sounds and jingle bells sound is not any more matching. Something missing, Krishna felt. <laughs> so, Krishna is dancing a different way and take this uncle bear. They unknowingly, you know, like kind of, you know, they put Radhika's feet. Then, again, this sound is coming. At that time, Krishna felt Oh, service of Radhika is so tasty. How Manjari is serving Radhika? After 
tasting radicals in Baba. I want to taste this manjali in such Baba. So Mahaprabhu, so Krishna become Mahaprabhu. So Mahaprabhu taste at first Radha's Baba, Radha's feeling, Radha's nectar. Then he want to taste this Manjari's feeling, Manjari Baba. This is the explanation of Ananda's Babaji and Ananda Babaji, actually good names. So this mentioned this service of, uh, of Radhika. It's very much tasty. Even Krishna won't. So this is very interesting. So Krishna needs Manjari's help. Also Krishna felt oh Manjari's seva is so great. I want to taste this also. <coughs> Oh, he is mentioned one term, Prasanga Seva, is special service of Manjari to Shimati Radhika and also to Mohan. Before it's written, what the bite, the brush of love, they painting what they see in their hearts, means they completely absorb all the emotions, Radha emotions, Mohan emotions their movements, their gestures, their everything, their words, and then they give in these pictures, both to Radha and Mahatma. Again and again, in increasing their feelings and organizing their meetings. So could you, maybe could you explain Prasanga Seva? They, they, you know, many devotees may not understand. No, no, you explain. <coughs> Prasanga, how understood? Prasanga Seva. Seva means to fulfill heart desires. Shimati Radhika wants to fulfill Krishna's desire to meet with him. In separation, small separation, for example, after night pastimes when Shimati Radhika is in Yal, in the house, of so-called husband, your so-called husband, uh, Abhimanyu, she feels some separation. In this moment, her manjari doing for her, for example, massage. And they touching her body in such a way like Krishna is touching her. She's feeling it. We can read it in Vilabhukku Sumanjali once to Simanjari did massage mm -hmm. to In such a way, what Shimatarika forget, what she is to Simanjari mm -hmm. giving her massage. She felt it's Krishna touching mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. this, this is what, how to say, this the capacity to absorb so much his justice. She is touching how he is touching all feelings. His feelings mm -hmm. towards Shimatarika. They can transfer with mm -hmm. feelings. Mm -hmm. What I understood. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> like my understanding is uh, Prasanga Seva is kind of a very intimate direct Seva of Shirimati Radhika. Especially for radicals body, spiritual body. <laughs> Like Radha Charanji say, like massaging her body. Also, kind of direct, intimate association. Sometimes paint, tilak, sometimes, you know, maybe musk, chandan, or sometimes like, uh, I might say, uh, kunkuma. Sometimes, you know, paint, leaf, or sometimes fish on the, you know, her body. Or sometimes, you know, on the feet, red colors, 
To, to satisfy Radhika's feeling, or sometimes to satisfy Mohan's feeling, he must know how to do it. So Manjari is what, what, always watching the like viewer outside Kunja. And Manjari was watching how Mohan touching Radhika's body, how to massage. So, Manjari see how to do it. Like for example, Satyabhrataji sometimes massage Gurude. He knows how to massage. If beginner come, no experience for massage. So we have to see how he's doing. How how touch is doing, strong or soft, which part, how how do massage hand is moving like this. <laughs> so Manjari also watching how Moha is doing. So then <laughs> she do exactly the same way Mohan does. <laughs> then Radhika is thinking, <laughs> actually, you know, Mohan is not here. But uh, she's, oh, my Mohan massaging me. <laughs> so Radhika become ecstasy. So this is Manjari's Prasanga Seva, which Ranjanaji beautifully explained. Poetically, romantic moments. <laughs> Seeing the anxiety of our hero, Rupa and Tulasi leave him standing there and go to the Kunja where Swamini is laughing and joking with her girlfriends about her victory and Krishna's defeat. She is a queen. She is a queen of Raja. And before someone will come, so, uh, uh, the servant must announce such such a came. It's preparing good mood for meeting. It preparing auspiciousness. It's inviting auspicious for this meeting. This is the service service of Anjali. Also, service of Anjali. This is using. This is used. No. Yesterday. Yes. We cannot. I put some perfume. So also this is interesting. Our manjari is Radha Adiksune. Oh, maybe we, we have to explain. Three kind of gopi, three kind of <laughs> So one is likes Krishna more than Radhika. This is Bishamasneha. And they love Krishna and Radha equally. That's called the Samasneha. And some, some gopi love Radhika more than uh, some gopi loves Radhika more than Krishna. 
Let's go be called the Vlada Alix Neha. So, all Manjari, all Kinkari, they are called Vlada Alix Neha. So, means they love Radhika Queen. Radhika Konka Krishna. <laughs> so therefore, this mentioned Rupa, Kodachi, they are laughing, joking, say, Radhika, you win, you conquer Krishna. Because now Krishna is so much eager to meet with you. He is begging us to arrange meeting for you, with you. Uh, I heard uh, ladies say love because they see how the men charm a baby. And now, what Manjari is doing, they, they, what they saw, how Krishna is eager, actually mad for Shmatradik. And they picture now they give him to Radha. How his man it increased her feelings also. They increased they increased Mohan Singh and Shmatalik. Now they make it unavoidable mm-hmm. for the happiness of both of both families. And actually if Radhika see Manjali's face. Radhika understood the Mandarin's feeling. Oh, you know, Mohan will come very soon. And also, by words of Mandarin, that kind of, that Mandarin face, Mandarin word, Mandarin behavior, give us so much feeling to the Radhika's heart. And more eagerness for meeting Mohan is increasing. This is Manjari work. Manjari want Mohan's feeling to increase for Radhika. And also Manjari want Radhika's feeling should increase for Mohan. So very clever, very expert. What happened in this heart? Heart always in feelings. Now she met Radhika in meeting with her girlfriends. And she is joking, smiling. Yes, she's never forgot forget her beloved. Never. But still the uh, it's particular mood now in heart. To meet with Mohan, it must be what more desire come. Hmm? No, miss, must, she must be more and more with Mohan inside, less with Sakis. And for this case, Manjari is doing, they speak in such a way to prepare her. Uh, and she needs, she wants this, what someone do with Seva. Manjari is doing this, they prepare. If a uh, girl and boy meeting, they could not immediately for example, kiss each other. Must be some mood before. This mood, when they're speaking, they're looking at each other, that mood, desire is growing, growing. And what this series of Manjari? Uh, but like I say, if Rava want to meet, but the feeling is not enough, the meeting is not successful. Let's say if if we want to meet somebody, I want to meet somebody, but my feeling is very down. Then that meeting it may not successful. So, so therefore, lover's feeling should be increased. And more increase, more love there. Then that meeting is more. Tasty, more success. So only Radhika could fulfill all the desires of Mohan. But if Radhika's feeling is not good, 
Like man. Then more harm. Maybe kick, kick, you know, what, you know, kick out. So therefore, therefore, radical feeling should be very favorable. And Mohan's feeling also should be very favorable. Their feeling should be very much increased. And this manja is sometimes joking and laughing. It's a kind of prahasya rasa, hasya rasa. Because sometimes we need, you know, sometimes laughing. Because if we too much serious, it's not good for love, make love. So sometimes we have to be, you know, laughing, you know, relaxing. And the mood is very important. So this manja is making Radhika's mood very favorable. <clears throat> In this way, Tulasi offers Sarasa Vandana with the praises to her Ishtadev standing before her Swamini. This is also called Mangala Charana or an auspicious invocation as is customary in Vaishnava tradition the opening verse of a devotional book is a prayer to the Guru and the second verse is a prayer to the Ishtadev. In the beginning of this book, I make a Mangala Charana in which I remember the Guru, the Vaishnavas, and the Lord. Remembrance of these three will destroy all obstacles to spiritual life and will easily fulfill all sacred desires. Uh, in due to different cases in life, it can happen such a way, but the person can be in mind, in the mood of doer, I guess, a hunger. But then someone coming and asking cautions, spiritual cautions. For example, one devotee doing job, business, but now he is meeting with his friend. And friend asking this person some devotional cautions, what is, um, let's say, in his heart, what he met now, what he need now. And before answering, to put his consciences to the heart, to become a heart, become viewer, not doer. It's so nice to remember who am I. Oh, I'm disciple, I am servant. Like this, I am recognized. Started to, it's written here, Mangala Charana means invite auspiciousness. Invite auspiciousness. Auspiciousness means to fulfill desires. Shemati Radhika has desire to this person, towards this person. I want to be your instrument. What is what? I pray to my Guru, my Guru Saki, Guru Manjani, and to my Ishtadev, Shemati Radhika. I want to be your instrument. I, I want to do as you like. Please use my mouth, my hands, my body, uh, in your, in your, how to say, uh, love, yeah, in love towards this person. And also, this is a very interesting Mangale Chana. Because we know Mangale Chana. If we, Chaitan, if we read Chaitan Charitamrita, I offer respect of Benson to unto Guru, you know, uh, like a Vaishnava, very policy very uh, serious way. 
But Raghunath Das is Mangalachana, is full of wheat. Wheat, wheat, full of wheat. Uh, what it is? Wheat, what it is? Better her? Like a kind of little joking way. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, because we see first verse of Manga the channel. Very witty. Bit, you know, little bit, you know, kind, kind of little joking. <laughs> My dear friend Rupa Manjari, in the township of Braja, you are well known for your chest. You don't even look at the face of other men. It is therefore surprising that your lips that are built as beautiful as red bimba fruits have been beaten. Although your husband is not at home, has this maybe been done by the best of children? This is this is Mangalacha. Rashika Vaishnava is Mangalacha. Bhaiti Bhakti Mangalacha is very serious. But, uh, you know, Raganuga Bhajan, like Rashika Vaishnava, especially this, this Torasi, Rupa and Torasi, and the, the Mangari, and Manjari's Mangari Chana is very, you know, jokingly, very wit, beautifully. <coughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> Relaxing. Yeah, so Guru Dev say, when you come to Brindava, be relaxed. <laughs> Eating, sleeping, <laughs> and chanting. <laughs> Just be relaxed. <laughs> because without relaxing, we cannot open our heart. Our heart is not open and soft. So, so therefore, relaxment. Is very necessary. <laughs> and uh, loving devotees is uh, so helpful in this. Yes. They are so hearted, they can understand the feelings of others and can speak in such a way that they are not press, not push. Do you must do like this. No. We are speaking such a way what will increase desire. They increase love and amanda. What is why they I remember when Shamaranika Samaraj first time started his join to the West, to the America, he gave uh, four sankalpas. Oh one sankalpa but four vows. Mm -hmm. And what one of vows was joke and as ma much as much as possible mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because devotees already was in all these countries was already so much serious yeah. Yeah. too serious <laughs> too much here is written what we just read. Um, remembrance. I remember the Guru, the Vaishnavas, and the Lord. Um, and why the Lord and not our Ishtadev? I'm thinking about what well, Anandas Babaji is writing, or, or like Ada Sharanta is before I answer a spiritual question. I go inside and I remember the Guru, the Vaishnavas and the Lord. And my question is why the Lord and not my Ishtadev? Same. 
Controlling my sense means he is completely um, win me. I don't know how to English it sounds. Conquered me. Conquered me, yes, by love. I completely in under his control, under your control in our case. Means Prananatha. She is everything. <coughs> she would have once told here, I remember. She is even fulfilling, actually, first, she is fulfilling our material needs. Because it's so much inside, so much anxiety we're coming to it. Radha Mohan, even we're not specially asking, but it's in heart. And we can hear it, they can hear And Srimati Radhika again, Krishna's giving. And this is increasing faith, increasing nation. Oh, she is even care, taking care of it about peace. Oh, how amazing. How amazing. Isn't she, for her, it is, even this is important. By this reason, she becomes everything for me. Lord. I don't know how it's an English sound. In Russian, we uh, uh, translate it Gaspadin. Gaspadin means. All my senses, all my feelings belong in August to you. In the first verse, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, in his Swarupa Vesh, reveals the super excellence of his guru through some rasika joking kind of praise and in this second verse he reveals the super excellence of his ishta devi sri radhika in the same way Rupa and Tulasi enter into. How she is doing this? Also in the Rasika way. She is compared Rasik, uh, Radha with Stala Kamalini. Kamalini means uh, lotus flower. But this lotus flower is very special. It's not growing, not based on the water. It's growing in the forest. Raise meetings. Radha, uh, Krishna meeting with gopis and for in the forest many flowers means other gopis but bumblebee <coughs> prefers the best stala kamalini and and just i got the feeling so usually lotus in the water so, but uh, this Stara Kamarini is round lotus. Sometimes this round lotus enter in the Radha Kunda with Mohan and uh, playing Amaras pastime in the water, very you know, intimate pastime. Also in the Yamuna. So this is Stara Kamarini. You want to enjoy in the Lhasa of this Amaras pastime. Well, one more thing, a little bit sweet coming. Uh, flowers blooming because of sunshine. <coughs> Uh, sunshine giving happiness everyone and this happiness if for flowers means they blooming all the qualities means all petals is open means all other gopis they depend on Shimati Radhika and they love she's a source of their love they blooming because of her but she is independent in the forest not so much light but still is uh, Stala Kamalini, this earth lotus, is woman. 
for the Krishna. Because pure love, independence, no uh, depends on other source. But one interesting, I don't know, can I say this or no? But it generally, lotus um, based on the water. The steam is could not keep lotus. Lotus need uh, for surface of water support. But this lotus <coughs> stay uh, based on own uh, steam. And for me, this steam is manjari because it's your expansions, your own second or third form body. They completely support her. <laughs> so this is just a feeling, sorry. If, <coughs> so lotus come from mud, water and uh, and uh, like a mud represents this material world. The flower represents spiritual world. So radicals, dances, this Guru Parampara come from spiritual platform to material world. And then they are in the mud in the material world. But nothing touch with them. Our Guru Parampara, our Guru De, even he, he may be in this material world. Our Guru Parampara may be in this material world, but never touch. And directly connected all the time. Directly connected. So this is uh, represent the importance of our Parampara from, from Radhika. That's my feeling, you know. So therefore, this our Guru Parampara is so important. That Guru Parampara should be connected with Radhika. That's my that's the feeling. Rupa and Tulasi enter into the Kunda and seeing a land lotus before them praise Swamini by saying O oh, land lotus it's fitting that you laugh so proudly for the Krishna bee leaves all the other fragrant flower-like gopis to search for you only. <clears throat> there, in the transcendental Sringararas Amaras kingdom of Radha and Krishna, everything is full of jokes and laughter. In the spiritual Goloka world, every word is a song and every step is a dance. Can there be any doubt then that the words and activities of the Sakis and Mandaris who are non different from the Yugala Kishore that always swims in the ocean of Sringararas are also filled with the Sringara Parihasa Rasa, the flavors of erotic humor. The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become qualified to make such transcendental romantic jokes if he engages in hearing and chanting of these sweet sentiments. <coughs> <coughs> 
gradually becoming completely absorbed in them. The fact that Swamini is here addressed as Lent Lotus indicates that she is not close to the Shama ocean of Rasa. The word Kamala means water flower, but she is named Stala Kamalini, land lotus here. But Tulasi uses this word to encourage the Radha land lotus to go into the ocean of Shama. And she herself also very much likes to witness that sweet meeting. Two ways how they can witness Panjari with a lot uh, of amorous pastimes. They can, I'll say, peep yeah, from the windows, I don't know, in English. And then uh, with uh, creepers, flowers, leaves, making like this, and look, it's one test. But they more tests than they come directly without healing themselves. And then uh, Radha and Krish and Mohan looking at the Manjari, they ha the happiness growing. For them, no need to hide because Shimatradika never sees them separate, some, something different from her. <laughs> The words Garvita Kanane Smin show that Sri Radha's pride of her fortune of being Shama Sundara's most dearly beloved in Sri Vrindavana is justified because she alone is endowed with the unique Madana Mahabhav. The words Api Nikila Lata Sta Saura Bhakta Sa Munchan Brigayati Tava Margam Krishna Bringo Yad Adya show that Krishna clearly abandoned Chandravali's assistants, Padma and Saibya on the way. <coughs> Although Chandravali and other Yudeshwaris, Gopi group leaders, are clearly scented with the fragrance of Mahabhav, the Madana Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika is most capable of subduing the Krishna black bee. That is shown in this verse. <coughs> Oh, there is many gopis, uh, many, many, many gopis. So I cannot count. So among the all gopis, two gopis are prominent. This one gopi named here mentioned Chandrabari. Then another gopi named our Swami Shrimati Radha. This is Baba mentioned. Chandrabari also <coughs> has with the fragrance of Mahabhava. 
But Radhika has Madana Mahabhava. So among the Mahabhava, it's more, more highest Mahabhava is Madana Mahabhava. <coughs> So Chandra Bali's mood is I'm yours. So Radhika's mood is you are mine. So Radhika has so much love for Krishna. I'm yours. No, you are mine. Therefore, too much love for Krishna, Mohan. Therefore, she sometimes becomes mad. So, sometimes together, but uh, she feels separated. Sometimes separate. See, I am together with Mohan. So this is, this is especially some difference from Radhika and Chandra. And Krishna loves Radhika more because Radhika could fulfill all desire of Moha. <coughs> Once we discussed how Shimati Radhika feel angerness, man, when Krishna coming late and his body has sickness what he met other body for example Chandra in this case and she's angry with him but he couldn't understand why she's angry with me why because for him Radhika all in all I, I told this I told for Shimati Radhika Krishna or oh, for Krishna Radhika is all in all but the reaction of Shri was so amazing he told me yes all in all means he sees he not looks all the gopis, even Chandravali. He sees only Shimati Radhika in each of them. Yeah. When he is kissing them, embracing, he is actually embracing and kissing only Shimati Radhika, nobody else. <laughs> and what is why he not understand? Why she is angry with me? I never left her. She is completely hers, completely. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> Internal thinking and external behavior is very contradicting sometimes. The words Garvita Kanane Smin show that Sri Radha's pride of her fortune of being Shama Sundar's most dearly beloved in Sri Vrindavana is justified because she alone is endowed with the unique Madana Mahabhava. The words following show that Krishna clearly abandoned Chandravali's assistants Padma and Saivya on the way. Although Chandravali and other Yuteshwaris are clearly scented with the fragrance of Mahabhav, the Madana Mahabhav of Srimati Radhika is most capable of subduing the Krishna black feet that is shown in this verse. Some consider this verse to be Sripad's addressing Sri Rupa Mandri in Svarupa Vish. <coughs> this explanation is also endorsed by the Mahatmas. 
when Sri Rupa Manjari heard herself praised in the first verse, a smile blossomed on her face. Seeing this, Tulasi addressed a blooming land lotus before her and praised her Guru Devi once more by revealing the glories of her beauty and fortune. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti glorifies the beauty of the Mandaris as follows in his Krishna Bhavanamrita. Each line on these Mandaris' toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified, and although they are qualified to be Yudeshwaris, Gopi group leaders, they have no taste for this at all. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's service. In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. Although what is the meaning of that? Repeat this line. <laughs> they are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's service. In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. Mm -hmm. uh, once to see uh, who fit desire Shmatradika and Shmatradika in in her gratefulness or joking, I don't know, she offered to see the position of her girlfriend, like Palita, Vishaka, and others. And what, how Tulsi is answered on this uh, offer from Shimatelika? She told, I am giving my pranam again and again, again to this position of your girlfriends. But really, I have trust in my heart only for your service. I don't want to be your girlfriend, I want to be your servant. Means for Manjari, this the happiness. The source is called Baba Ula Sarati. Uh, happiness which coming from the happiness of Ishtadevi. They happy only in that case and Ishtadevi is happy. Is happy. So, yeah, very beautiful. So here I don't want to become Saki or girlfriend of, of you, Radhika. Because if I become your Saki, girlfriend, then I may lose your direct saver. I don't want any direct connection, Mohan. My mind, my words, my body is just Concentrate on your seva. I am stai, stai baba in your seva. So, because manjaris, 
Taste is more higher than sake and gopi. Why? Why that? Because <coughs> who can fulfill all desire more? Who can satisfy Moham at most? This is Radhika. As a Gopi Saki may satisfy Moham to some extent. But uh, only Radhika, because Krishna select Radhika. In Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, Lazarus is going on. But one gopi disappears. Then Krishna gave up this Lazarus. And looking for this one gopi. And Srimad Bhagavatam did not mention directly her name. But the Sanatana Gosami, as the Acharyas mentioned, this gopi is Radhika. So this Bhagatam explained, Shrimati Radhika is the highest gopi, most please Krishna. Radhika fulfills all desire of Moha. And only made servant who serve Radhika could feel same feeling with Radhika. Because manja is tadatmika. Manja is feeling and Radhika is feeling same. Because so much dedication, so much oneness is feeling. So therefore, Manjari could taste Radhika's feeling. So therefore, even Krishna want to taste Radha's feeling. Or even Krishna want to taste Manjari's feeling, which I mentioned. So therefore, this Torasi Manjari I don't want to, I want to the position of your Yuteshwari, you know, the Yuteshwari or your Saki, your girlfriend. So just I want to remain humble your maid servant. Or maybe Raghunanda said, marked maid servant of you. My desire only this, nothing else. This is my humble. Okay. Can I, can I ask okay, a question? Sure. No, yeah. When Chaitanya, when Chaitanya experienced both Radharani's feeling and Manjari's feelings, what was more intense for him? I heard recently from Jananda Maharaj, he explained about, um, he gave example of flowers of Tulsi. And also in Chaitanya Chiritamrita, Krishna Skaraj Goswami gave an example of Kripa. Now there is golden Kripa around of Tamal tree, dark Tamal tree. And this Kripa has beauty, your um, leaves, flowers. And then the wind of prema is blooming. Oh, I don't know. Coming. The wind, the wind. Yeah, wind coming. Then these creepers starting to move. And most influence of this wind to the smallest part of creeper. The smallest part of creeper means Shimatiradikas. This is Manjari. They have so much feelings. Uh, um, John Maharaj told then, uh, when coming, the uh, branches of uh, Tulsi started to move, and on the top is um, flower, 
and the top of flower is bottoms, is manjari, and down is uh, flowers, is Shivatiradika uh, Saki. And most moment, uh, I don't know what's in English, Amplituda, Amplituda, is the top, with manjari, with, with bottoms. So Krishna, and Krishna and the... Interesting. In bhakti nature, uh, if somebody sub object, like say Krishna, Krishna is object, and uh, Radhika is subject. Krishna is served by Radhika. Radhika is serving to Krishna. So which one is more pleasure? Then someone who is served Krishna, that is more, more taste is coming. Sometimes it is uh, seven times, sometimes say uh, hundred times, or sometimes say uh, hundred thousand times. So we don't know exactly, but uh, anyway, we say if someone who served that person is most feeling pleasure. So that means if Radhika and Manjari compare. Of course, you know, this is difficult to say, but theoretically say, if someone who serves Radhika, Manja is more get some feeling than Radhika. Because Radhika, say, in the Nikunja Seva, if we see, Radhika serves Krishna. So Radhika may see only Mohan. But Manjari could see Radhika and Mohan. Both feeling they can taste. So therefore, it's difficult to say, but uh, theoretically, Manjari, Manjari is feeling more than Radhika. <coughs> then, in night time, past times, these two beloved meet each other, it can compare these two oceans of love and softness coming together. In this moment, all on earth stop movement due to amazing of his rasa. And <clears throat> yes, and who who is witnesses? Who is amazing? Who is most close <coughs> of all your seniors? Most close is Manjari. For example, if we are throwing stone to the water, we have surface water, one pond. The biggest wave in the middle. First, closest to the place where the stone is drawn in water. This is closed round, this cold, uh, the biggest wave is the cycle of Manjari. So if we see, if anyone who sees a yoga pit picture, <laughs> yoga pit meeting place <laughs> of Radamo. Radamo Han Center. <laughs> Most nearest one is Manjari. 
Ashita Manjari. Then next is Saki. So this is interesting. Uh, we discussed this under Kari's question. And he quoted Joe Gaslavi, and he told the majority's body, um, how to say, qualified to tolerant Ananda of Radha and Mohan, even seven times more than they feel. Or was how we can uh, how we can serve them in this situation. They also will be senseless or how to say moveless. In this moment, that all universe is moveless, means amazing and stop moment. In this moment, Majari is serving. At that moment? In this moment, that all universe moveless means they amazed, no couldn't move. In this moment, Majari is move, moving because they doing service. Yeah. In this moment. This is amazing. They are so strong. It, how, I, I remember once the mother explained here, he told, this is the next high. In, they yeah. try means so strong desire to serve what even in this moment they continue the service in spite of so strong things in them they still continue their service this is so fixed That's in so stai baba so this is amazing nature of manjari mohan is losing consciousness i can this in this little yeah. very today but they not losing consciousness they still continue the service one of the most important service, the witness of this mm. Why? Because after they need to give it, to return. You know, because why is that? Why? Because Moha is enjoyer. Manjari is Biwa. So therefore this Biwa consciousness is main thing is how to serve. Not how to enjoy, but Mohan's case, how to enjoy. He can allow to himself mm. be unconscious. <laughs> yes, and also Dira. If Mohan does not unconsciousness, then we don't need. If Mohan becomes unconsciousness and Radhika cannot do anything, then Manjari is saved by his, his need. You know? If Mohan, Radha Mohan is get married, then we don't need, maybe. So therefore, this is important, you know? This is, and who is angel, and who is doer, who is viewer. And also Lila, Lila point of view also. So maybe, see, well, maybe stop it. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, what more? You want to read more? There is this too, and then the verse would be finished. Okay, then please read. Finish. They finished. <coughs> In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. Although Sri Radha is her superior, Tulasi, Srila Raghunanda Swami, makes light jokes with her here in his Swarupa Vesh, as if she is equal to her, calling her Saki, and at the same time reveals her boundless glories. Hey <coughs> land lotus, jewel of all flowers of Vrindavan, on the pretext of making your cluster of flowers blossom, you are laughing excessively. This is justly done. Hence, everyone calls you Garavini, proud girl. Because this Krishna bee leaves all the other vines company, although they are all very fragrant and constantly searches down the road for you, you have become very proud. Thank you very much.